What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Explore USA RV Super Center in Bernie, Texas, and we're gonna take a look at this super cool, super, 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 super compact little travel trailer. This is a teardrop style travel trailer from Free Solo, and this is the OG series. There is a lot of cool things to like about these units, while at the same time, it's kind of missing a few things you might need to bring with you. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, as always, before we get started, let's take a look at the numbers on this massive, massive toy hauler travel trailer. I'm just kidding. Anyways, this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 2,325 pounds. Has a cargo capacity of 1,000 pounds. So this thing dry is a little over 1,300 pounds. It has one axle, 15 inch C-rated tires. It does have solar prep on it as well, so you can charge the batteries whenever you put them on. It has a place for a couple propane tanks right here as well as batteries if you'd like. You can kind of mix what you want there with the utility tray they have up front. This unit is only about six and a half, maybe seven feet tall if you include the rack up top. And you can tow this with just about anything. I mean, there are Subarus, there are smaller SUVs. There are a lot of vehicles that can tow something like this. Of course, you do wanna be careful. You don't wanna get in a situation where you think you can tow it with anything and then you hitch up and you realize that this can still sway and cause some really, really bad towing experiences if you aren't careful. So again, you wanna be careful with what you tow this with, but you can pretty much tow this with just about any vehicle that has a towing capacity over 3,000 pounds, which is, again, going to include most of your smaller SUVs. This thing is super cool. Okay, so what this doesn't have is a shower or a toilet. It actually does have a sink and it has a fresh water tank on it. So you have the ability to take water with you, connect a hose and take a shower. It also has a really cool ARB awning up here. So you can extend an awning out and you can utilize this as a really nice covered space and convert this thing into a really, really cool kind of overland trailer. Now it has a single axle and the single axle is a torsion style axle, which is really nice. It's a little bit better for these smaller type units, especially if you're going to be taking it off-roading or in an environment that a leaf sprung axle just won't perform optimally. It has a propane connection here for a nice propane stove. It has stabilizer jacks here on the side, one on each side. But the cool part about this specific unit is what's back here. Check this out. So you have this really great kitchen space back here, complete with a Coleman refrigerator, sink, as well as a cooktop. And you have some storage underneath here. You have power connections, you have a 12 volt connection, some speakers and some lighting. This is very cool. And this awning or this cover can actually provide you some shade or protection if you have it pointed in the right direction, if it's raining outside. Just a very, very cool setup. Nice LED lighting across the back. The overall length of this unit's only about maybe 12 feet long. So it definitely is compact and you can fit it into a lot of places that you couldn't fit anything larger. You have some vents there that'll be vented from the inside as well as a side vent right here. You have these really aggressive Westlake tires. These tires are actually very common on a lot of different RVs that utilize kind of this aggressive look. And then you have a standard radial spare underneath. Coming around this way. On this side, you'll see the outside of your furnace as well as your 30 amp connection right here and your fresh water fill. You know, this is perfect for a lot of folks. There are a lot of folks that can bring, you know, a portable cassette style bathroom with them or toilet with them. And, you know, if you're gonna hook up your own hose and give yourself a shower, you have that capability right off the bat. So as long as you have the showering situation and the restroom situation taken care of, this is good for a lot of folks that might go out. The only thing that's really lacking is the storage capacity to carry some things you might want to take with you if you're the type of person that utilizes something like this. So if you have a pickup truck or a Jeep or something, you might also want to get a bike rack, something to carry your toys or your equipment that you take out with you on your specific camping trip. Again, you have your solar connection there. That is to trickle charge the batteries. So if you have a solar panel here and you're out dry camping and you have your batteries on, you could try to trickle charge it with that solar connection. Nice little step up right here. Window on this door and you have another door on the other side. So this is an area that's kind of nice because they've given you dual doors and I think that that's a value add, right? Typically they might only give you one door because that's all you really need, but they've given you two entry exit doors on this unit. You have this really thick, actually it's about four inches thick sleeping pad right here that folds over and gives you storage underneath it as well. So 
you have the ability, and this is kind of hard to do with one hand, to get a little bit of storage underneath the floor. If you're gonna go hunting, something like that, great place to keep your, your rifles and other things you might wanna conceal. You have your furnace there. You have a nice air conditioning system right here, and that's what those vents are on the top back. You have some storage on each side. Air conditioning control, smoke alarm. You have more storage on the other side here. Little fire extinguisher over here. You have another outlet over here. Carbon monoxide detector, some power ports on the inside, and you have a nice vent above as well as a light. I mean, again, this is a really cool little trailer. You could even use this as kind of like a bug out trailer because super compact, super lightweight. You can load this up with stuff if you need to. You know, I've seen people that have used these as like miniature cargo trailers where they're moving somebody and they're just looking for some space to throw things in while at the same time when they're not using it as a cargo trailer, they're using it as a small camper, complete with air conditioning and a furnace. Very cool though. This is definitely something I think a lot of people would enjoy. And once you have something like this, it's really, really fun to use it, right? So I live on the coast next to the beach, and this is absolutely the type of trailer that we could take out for a day trip out to the beach and just enjoy and have a really cool experience. Bring some steaks out, bring something to cook on the grill in the back, and just, again, not have to pack up a huge camper just to go out and you know enjoy the day out by the water. But what do you guys think? I'd love to know your thoughts on these really small teardrop style campers because I think there's a lot of practical applications for them. I don't think these are the type of things that you wanna be out for a week at a time unless again, you have some means of showering and using the restroom. But if you're just gonna go out for the day and you have you know a little portable cassette toilet with you or something you can take with you, I think these are very, very practical and they're super affordable. I mean, most of the time these are gonna be had for about ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 and they are very towable. Very, very easy to manage on the road. But I'd love to know your thoughts because, you know, is this something I should get? I mean, I would love to get something small like this just to have and review and see how it works. Tow it behind the F450 because I know most of my subscribers believe that you're going to need an F450 to tow something like this. I don't disagree, but yeah, you could throw this behind a Ford Ranger or you could throw this behind almost any type of midsize or small SUV so long as you have the cargo capacity and you have the ability to connect your trailer brakes and things like that to it. Anyways, guys, I'd love to know your thoughts. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.